right guys, so I thought I'd make a quick video by putting valve springs in a Cummins. This is my 12 valve head here. You can do this on the engine or off the engine. Um, if you're gonna be pulling your head, it is a little bit easier to do it off the engine, but not by much. So if your motor's still in the truck altogether, you're gonna need to pull your valve covers off and pull your rocker arms off. It's a smaller bolt here and then a big head bolt here. Take those off. Once all those are off, you're gonna need a tool like this. Uh, this is from Snap-on. It says M3584 is the part number. Uh, you're gonna have to pull your injector out. Take your lines off, pull your injectors out. I got this tool here I made for pulling out injectors. Um, it's just a piece of pipe the washer welded on top it's got a bolt in it and it's got a lug nut inside of it that's the same thread as the top of the injectors and you can sit that over top of it screw this on the injector and run this nut down and it'll pull it out once you have all your injectors out you thread this into here you're gonna need a uh, an air compressor and you're gonna want to Put air in here as much, you know, probably like 100 psi or whatever your compressor does. Hook that up, and uh, they'll keep your valves from. They'll keep your valves up while you're doing this. So there's a couple ways to take your valve springs off. I'm not going to need this because obviously this is not on the engine. You can use a tool like this. I've done it like this before. It works. It sits over top of your, you grab a hold of a couple coils, you run this down, it compresses the spring and you can get the keepers out. This works okay, but if you ever had a tool like this, it's hard to go back and use the other one because this is so much easier. So I'm going to be using this tool. I'll show you how to set that up. It's real easy. It just sits on there. Got a bolt here, Allen head. Just snug that up. This will compress two at a time. Just line this up with the, the valves and you run this nut down. Once you got them compressed, just take a magnet, pull your keepers out. There's two keepers. They both go halfway around. Once the keepers are off, Everything to slide off of it when you take the tool back off. Now if I was doing this on the engine, I would probably take some uh, some paper tiles. There's a couple uh, holes here for your oil drain. I would definitely uh, stuff them full that way if your keepers jumped out some weird way. They couldn't get uh, down into the engine. These are uh, not original 12 valve uh, valve seals here. But these are a very good design. I would get these if you're going to do this. Uh, they call this a top hat design because it's shaped like a top hat. And what's nice about this is your spring sits on top of it and you can't blow your seals because it's stuck down. So I'd recommend running that style valve seal. I've had a, I've had Cummins burn oil before. I've had Cummins uh, had oil coming out of the exhaust manifold because the seal was leaking. And uh, the more boost and stuff you run, the more likely you are to blow a seal. So these top hat styles are nice. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm, I'm taking this apart to clean it. This thing's been sitting on a shelf for a little while. And I've been grinding metal and stuff on it and I wanna clean it up before I stick it in the motor. So I'm gonna go on to the next one here. Yeah, 
these tools are great. I've used uh, this tool and I've used, uh, I got one for LS engines and uh, they're like 40 or 50 bucks, man, but they're, they make it so easy. It's, I think it's worth it for sure. Give it a little smack with a block of wood to pop the valves back up into place. If you've never seen one of these before, all it is is there's a uh, groove on your valve and there's a little groove on this keeper and that sits right in there and it's kind of cone shaped as you can tell and uh, the retainer, is, it sits in the cone shape in the retainer and the spring keeps it, keeps pressure on here so it can't come up out come loose so that's how that's what keeps your valves in the motor I think on the 12 valves, the stock valve springs, they can lift up, uh, they can actually, high boost pressure can, can overcome the spring and open your intake valves. And uh, if you have an exhaust brake, you're gonna want these on the exhaust valves. And I think they start floating around like 3,200 RPM. So if you wanna rev it up any, you're gonna wanna get better valve springs. So that's it, man, I got all these out. It's gonna take too long. So yeah, if you got your uh, 4K governor spring kit, you're probably gonna want to upgrade your valve springs. You might as well do the valve seals while you're at it. It's gonna take too long, especially with the right tools. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean all this up. These are already aftermarket, everything here. I'm just gonna clean it up, put it back together. I'll be showing you what I did to the head. You can probably see it's modified in this area here. There's some other work I did to it. And uh, I'll show you guys that another time. So uh, hope you enjoy the video. Have a great day.